What up fam? A lot of people ask me, hey Woody Boss, where's the best bagel in Cape Town? And I always say, well, I've never eaten a bagel blindfolded. So that's why today I'm doing a blind bagel test. I'm gonna go to Matt's Bagels, Kleinsky's, New York Bagel, Giovanni's Deli World, Origin, and the wild card, Total Garage Seapoint, because they make a good cheesecake. On this episode of Woody Boss Best, now you gotta do the drone now. First up, Kleinsky's Deli Seepo. What up, Joel? Yeah. Can I please order two salmon cream cheese bagels and two plain cream cheese bagels? Thank you. Thank you. Next up, the wild card, Total Garage Seepo. The little known fact is that the old New York bagel staff simply walked across the road and opened up their own bakery here. How's it? Fine, thanks. Can I please get four plain bagels? Thanks a lot. Did you work at the New York bagel? But I like the way that she mistreated the bagel like they do in New York. They throw them down on the counter because it's a peasant bread. Because they don't assemble the bagels for you, we obviously have to buy the cream cheese which could work in their favor, but it could also not. Don't come at me, guys. This is not a sponsored video for Longswood. So I don't want anyone coming at me later. Don't come at me. Did you used to work at the New York Bagel? Yes. So the rumors are true. <laughs> and what would a bagel test be without Giovanni's Deli World? A real contender for best bagel. I like this turnstile the most. Two salmon cream cheese bagels and two cream cheese bagels. Thanks, eh? Cheers. And now for Origin. Famous for coffee, didn't know they sold bagels. How's it? They are pretty good. Faux bagels. Montreal style bagels, I see. Yeah. Because the difference between Montreal bagels and New York bagels is obvious. Huh? It's obvious. Yeah. Thanks, man. Here we are on Bruce Street at Max Bagels. Can I please get two plain bagels yes. and then two salmon cream cheese bagels? Thank you. There you go, plan, sir. And finally, New York Bagel. How are you doing? Fun and you? So actually, shout out to New York Bagel. They are the oldest bagel shop. They've been in business since 1940. <laughs> Thank you. It was our last stop. Let's get back to the studio. Come here, my babies. Here we are back at Sketchbook Studios. We're gonna test all these babies. So this is Natalia. She's a producer at Sketchbook Studios and she's made us this beautiful plates option. Lonnie is the gatekeeper of this competition as she is the only one who will know which bagel is on which plate. And I like to call her the auditor extraordinaire. Thanks, Will. And what sort of criteria are we, are we judging here? I'm looking for chewiness and lack thereof. I'm looking for taste. You want the balance of salty versus sweet. But looking at all of these, they look like they were boiled first in a little bit of bicarb. Is that what you do with the bagel? That's how you make a bagel. I feel like this tastes more like a pretzel. <laughs> too salty. Mm. What is our rule with a lemon? A beautiful Maybe filling. It's too sweet. It's sweet, but I believe this is what a bagel should taste like. The wrinkly ones before, I think, were better. Really? Mm. Mm, interesting. The salmon carried this one. You can tell that whoever made this has been making them a long time. Maybe Gosh, they're too no. generous with the salmon. Now that is a dog <laughs> bagel. I'm um, giving both of those a fat naught. Naught? A little too chewy. Mm. I like a chili bagel. Beautiful mm. crust, but you have to work for it. I do too. 21 on each. Which one? Number six. Oh! I know. Tell me about it. So the taste test is done. I can't bloody wait to see what the results are. So the results are in. In sixth place, with a massive grand total of three out of 60. Big surprise, total garage. So we should be booing for that one. Fifth place with 33.5 out of 50 Origin Bagels. Fourth place with 39 out of 60 Max Bizagels. So that's not a bad score. It's not a bad score. 
And then just in front of them, with one point, Klansky's in third place. In second place, now this is gonna shock and awe all of you. It's Giovanni's Daily World. Really? And the absolute favorite only lost two points amongst one, two, three, four, five, six judges. NYP! Personally, and I think that Klinsky's is still the best bagel, by far. I guess what we're trying to say is that uh, uh, your bagel can be your favourite bagel, except if you go to the total garage, because then you obviously have something wrong with you. And that was Willy Ball's best bagel. <laughs> A huge shout out to Lancewood for sponsoring this video. Don't come at me, guys.